Hi, my name is Kim Manchester, and this is Art 140A, Introduction to Digital Photography, spring semester or spring term. Um, I just wanted to welcome you to the class. I know that there are a few announcements already that are guiding you to kind of the first steps of how to get familiarized with the course. I wanted to just send out a welcome video to welcome you to the class, but also talk a little bit about some uh, things that you probably have some questions about right off the bat. So welcome to spring. I hope your classes are all exciting so far. Um, I know right now we're in different stages of um, either being at home, uh, taking classes online entirely, remote, or some of you may even be on campus occasionally for courses. So um, as we go through the term, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how to access some of the resources that we have at PCC and specifically call out what you can use uh, either in person, where you can go um, with regards to like if your computer kind of craps out on you or you need more internet access, that kind of thing. We do have more resources available to folks who are able to get to campus um, than we have before, but there's always other ways to, to make sure that you get access to the materials that you need. Um, one of the things I want to acknowledge right off the bat is that, of course, for this class, we're going to need our internet to be working. Because it's asynchronous, if, uh, like me, you have internet that kind of goes out with a blustery, windy day, uh, sometimes that doesn't really affect your work as much because usually it comes back on. If you ever find yourself in a situation where uh, technical difficulties are happening and it's preventing you from um, feeling confident about your work or that you feel like you're falling behind, it's better to just reach out to me directly. My email is probably the best way to get a hold of me. I am teaching uh, online only this term. I'm actually getting ready uh, and getting my students ready to teach uh, photography in Prague this summer. So I've got two online classes that I'm teaching this one here, as well as Art 141, Introduction to Photography. All right, so um, a little bit about myself. I am primarily a photographer, but I also work in the printmaking medium. Um, I also do textiles and fiber and color, as well as tailoring and um, pretty much anything that lets me play with color and texture, I'm there. So um, I also, um, I'm pretty bad at remembering names and dates. So I'm probably the world's worst art historian, but I am very much into history and technology and chemistry of photography, as well as all of these other um, fiber traditions and such. So occasionally you'll see different projects going on behind me. I don't have the cleanest of studios, um, so they'll always give you something interesting to look at. Uh, and I tend to pull things for my demos. Um, I am primarily an in-person instructor since the pandemic. I've been learning how to teach online more and more. I do really enjoy the fact that I can call friends who work in the arts around the country and ask them to do presentations. You'll see a couple different things coming up this term from previous students who are now successful photographers or uh, friends of mine that I went to grad school with that I'm still friends with who are in their careers as artists, photographers, um, and so on and so forth. So I like having um, a community of folks around me who um, we can share ideas and I'm always happy to answer your questions, even if they're not directly uh, related to photography, you'll find that material in this class is really something that's driven by curiosity, driven by the process of the experience and the practice of doing something again and again and approaching things from new angles each time. So um, let's talk about equipment real quick. All right. Now, don't take this video for a substitute for actually going through the written and reading material. This is just me giving you kind of an unscripted summary. So um, I do want to address a couple things. So first and foremost, we do need a camera for this class. You don't necessarily need a camera that is, uh, such as this one, a mirrorless camera. You also don't need a DSLR, a digital single lens reflex. Now, a single lens reflex camera looks a lot like this camera, except the inner workings are different. So what I do want you to pay attention to 
is that your camera has options for setting ISO and that you have a manual exposure mode on your camera somewhere, whether it's on a dial or it's back here in the LCD screen, and that you can set your aperture and shutter speed. So you should have a dial and depending on your camera, you'll have two dials or you'll have a dial with some button back here that lets you toggle between shutter and aperture, right? So you do need a camera. We are gonna be using aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and a big part of this class is learning how to use your camera on manual. Now, like I said, cameras look a little different and they can still hold um, a lot of different workings that will still make them suitable for this class. This guy here, I bought this one used on b &H. They have a used section that comes with a guarantee, which is amazing. Um, this little Sony is more of a point and shoot, but it has the really cool feature of doo -doo -doo, having manual exposure controls. And I will be able to control all of that through here, not necessarily through the dials so much here, right? So this is a really handy camera. This is a early version of the Alpha series. This is the mirrorless version. This one actually does have a, uh, a lens that can detach and be interchanged with other lenses, which is pretty cool. You can also get an adapter. So say if you went from a SLR or DSLR camera that was a Canon or a Minolta or a Nikon, you can get an adapter that actually screws onto here unless you put on your other lens. We'll talk a little bit more about the pros and cons of that. Primarily the con would be it's super heavy and it's a tiny camera. So like, what's the point? The other kind of camera that you might have is something like this. This is kind of a compact, it's not necessarily a point and shoot in the sense that uh, it doesn't give you any control. This is the Canon G series. Now this is one of the first ones, G9. Um, I think they go all the way up to the G14 now or something like that. And you'll find that a lot of more modern cameras will have video components, microphones, Wi-Fi upload, all that good stuff um, as part of the, the package. So it really is about what you decide you want your photography to be. If you don't need video, then maybe don't pay for it. Maybe get the older version or something like that. Do your research. Um, definitely talk to the folks who are paid to rep the different camera companies. We have some places in town who are really reputable places and they're local businesses. Um, I can put some of those uh, in our announcements. I think I have them in there already. I'll have to check. Um, but we have a PDX camera, which is over in the Beaverton area, a little bit closer to Sylvania campus. We have um, Pro Photo Supply, which is in Northwest Portland. Um, we also have a few other places. I don't know, the pandemic kind of put a lot of mom and pop shops out of business. Um, but we do have places still in town who are digital photo suppliers and can help talk you through some of the different options and, and usually have really good sales. There's also some great resources for used cameras without the risk of um, not really knowing what you're buying and not being able to just shake it and tell that there's actually something wrong with it. Um, not that that's the best way to figure it out, but that's what I've done at garage sales before. <laughs> um, so yeah, we will uh, get to that. Um, what else? You will need a way to store your images. The images that we make, depending on the camera that you have, are probably going to be very large images. We will be using imaging software, editing software, such as Photoshop. We have a student subscription that will start once our rosters get uploaded to the IT department. So that's something that our lab tech, Tatiana Gebert, will be doing this week. I will be submitting the rosters to Tatiana by the end of the week. And so by next week, you should be able to um, get access to that. Now, I wanted to take you on a little tour of the class. Um, I will make a separate video for that since I think that'll be useful, but maybe attention spans are not going to sit with me this whole time. <laughs> this is not the most exciting video. Um, what else? 
This term is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be highly technical, but I will be giving you aesthetic, creative assignments that will help you put in place the technical things so that you can see what the visual effects of the technical skills are. So for those of you who've been doing photography for a while, who are like, oh, this is like a baby step for me, sit tight. This is going to be fun. I don't give assignments that are just busy work. I don't like busy work. I think that it's better for us to actually flex into whatever we do and bring our entire selves to it. So you'll see that um, the way I run the class is, you know, I have high expectations. I hope you do too. I'm here to support. I really want us to feel like we're a community, we're a cohort of folks together. Um, and so I will reach out on announcements quite often and give you information, touch base, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I'm not going to overload you today, but um, I will continue on checking in. And if you ever see anything that is either out of date, irrelevant, confusing, doesn't make sense, or just playing wrong, like a date is wrong or something like that, please email me directly. Let me know. Um, as some of you know already, D2L has a lot of working parts and these class shells have a lot of spaces where things can get forgotten. Um, and so I believe I've dotted all my I's and crossed my T's. However, I always miss something. So we'll figure it out as we go. No sweat. You'll never be held accountable for something that you have no control over. Just rest assured. It's spring term. Let's celebrate the coming back of the light. And as photographers, this is going to be a great time for us to explore. So get out as soon as you can, even before you, you know, quote unquote, know anything and start photographing because this is a, the best way to learn. Just get started. All right. Welcome. I'm glad you're here.